Looking up at the night sky full of stars makes you wonder if we're alone, right? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is like a super magnifying glass, giving us a way better look at planets far away. The JWST recently checked out an exoplanet called K218b, and scientists got pretty excited. Seems like K218b has water vapor may be able to support life. Even cooler, it might have a molecule linked to life on Earth. This could be huge, like waiting for the announcement that, yep, there's life on other planets. This video is about that chance. We're checking out K218b, figuring out the science, and thinking about how it could totally change how we see the universe. K218b goes around a star 120 light years away. It's a super Earth like a mix of Earth and Neptune. We don't have anything like it in our solar system. It's smaller than Neptune, but still kind of weird, making it hard for scientists to know what it's really like. We can sort of compare it to rocky planets like Earth or gas giants like Jupiter, but it's still a mystery. The cool thing is that K218b is in the habitable zone of its star. This means there might be liquid water on its surface, just like our oceans, but it's closer to its star than Earth is to the sun. A year on K218b is only 13 Earth days. Luckily, its star doesn't give off as much heat as our sun, so the planet isn't burning up. That's how we spotted water vapor, which is a big deal because there could be other signs of life, too. The JWST also found methane and carbon dioxide. Methane absorbs sunlight fast, so finding it is neat. But the dimethyl sulfide, DMS, possibility is what is getting everyone hyped. On Earth, DMS is mostly made by tiny ocean bugs. If we find DMS on K218b, it could mean there's microbial life. Even though the planet gets a lot of radiation, if K218b has a stable atmosphere like Earth, its oceans could be a bit warmer. The water might not all dry up, which is key for supporting life. Some scientists think surface water might be common on these ocean-covered exoplanets. A physicist named Niku Morusudan thought up the idea of high-end planets back in 2021. These planets are bigger than Earth, have thick hydrogen atmospheres, and huge oceans. They could be much heavier than Earth and twice as big. Even though they might be around 200 degrees Celsius, they might not be boiling because of the big ocean, which could make up most of the planet's weight. This ocean could have what it takes for bacteria to live. Their thick atmospheres trap heat, so water can stay liquid farther away from the star than on rocky planets. If we find life, it can change the game because bigger worlds are easier to spot. Keen planets are good places to peek for life. Dr. Sudan's team is still using the JWST to study K218b. Even with fancy tech, finding ocean worlds is tough. To figure out K218b, scientists spent five hours getting data in two parts, watching as K218b passed in front of its star. As the planet moved, the JWST grabbed light that passed through the planet's atmosphere. This light makes a spectral fingerprint when it touches molecules in the air. It's like a prism splitting light into a rainbow. By seeing which colors are missing, scientists can tell which molecules are in the atmosphere. This tells us a lot about the planet. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Imagine a world 124 light years away orbiting a red dwarf star in the Leo constellation. It's called K218b. People are super interested in it, as scientists think K218b might be a high seen world meaning it's larger than Earth and has big oceans and a hydrogen atmosphere, making it a likely spot to peak for life. These planet atmospheres make them harder to check for using basic telescopes. The James Webb Space Telescope is made to be able to see deeper into space, letting scientists study what's in the air of exoplanets. With K218b, JWST found methane and carbon dioxide in the air. If these gases are in the right amounts, it could mean there's life. They could also be from other stuff. So we need to look more starting on Earth. DMS is made by tiny ocean life. If we find DMS in K218b's air, it would be a good sign of life. There are a lot of DM signals, which is interesting, but scientists are being careful. Right now, the DM signal isn't 100% sure, so we can't say for sure that it's there. Plus, DMS could be made independent of life. We need to do more tests to see if they're really there and what they mean. K218b is a big step in trying to figure out if we're alone in the universe. It doesn't prove there's life out there, but it gives us new things to explore. 
studying high-end planets could shift how we think about where life can be. As tech gets better, we're more likely to find proof of life on other planets. The search for what's out there is just beginning. Future missions will keep watching this mysterious planet. Each time we look, we learn more about planets far away and if there could be life there. The universe is more mysterious than we thought. Scientists are using data from telescopes to make their ideas about exoplanet atmospheres better. Each new thing we learn helps us answer old questions about our place in the universe. This is more than just about space. If we find even tiny life on another planet, it would shift how we think about biology, philosophy, and what it means to be human. It would say that life isn't rare, but something that happens when the conditions are right. That's why K218b is so awesome to scientists and everyone else. It's not just a planet far away, but a chance to see how life might form in the galaxy. If there's life there, it could be very different from what we know made to fit a hydrogen atmosphere in deep oceans. Scientists say we need to be patient and careful. We need to check claims of life really well to avoid being wrong. Being too quick to say something can hurt the search for life. So, teams from different fields like astronomy, planetary science, chemistry, and astrobiology are working together to get a full idea of K218b. They're making better tools and planning future missions to study these ocean worlds in the years to come. The search for life will be more focused because of what we're learning from K218b and similar stuff. Future telescopes and space missions will try to find signs of life with great accuracy. For now, K218b is one of the most interesting spots out there. It makes us think about life in different ways and stay curious and eager. And as we look out for others, we're also learning about ourselves and our want to explore and understand. The search for life in space is like looking at the life within us. And that search is just getting started. The of possible life on K218b is not just a milestone in science. It shakes us up a bit. For years, humans have looked up at the night sky and wondered, are we alone? Now, for the first time, we're beginning to see actual hints that could point toward answers, not just dreams. Think about this. If molecules like dimethyl sulfide, DMs, are really in K218b's atmosphere, it doesn't just say life, it teases life works similarly to us on Earth. Life might not need Earth-like conditions to exist, just some form of enough stability, a warm ocean, a protective atmosphere, and the right chemistry. If those pieces are there, then maybe life is something that happens on its own if given time. The tech helping these is crazy. The James Webb Space Telescope is a huge leap forward in our ability to see the universe. Old telescopes saw only invisible light, but JWST sees in infrared, letting it peek through clouds of dust and gas and pick up faint signals from distant worlds. It doesn't just take pictures. It reads light, and that light lets us know what gases are floating in an alien sky. Can you picture that? Treating the atmosphere of a planet over 100 light years away as if we were sniffing the air through a cosmic telescope. That's what we're doing with planets like K218b. We get a lot of data, but it's also super subtle. Analyzing hours of light takes months or years to be sure we're seeing what we think we're seeing. JWST is just the start. Later missions will be even more precise. They'll focus on atmosphere analysis, looking for combos of gases that show what life signs look like. With every mission, we get closer to the big questions. What is life? Where can it live? And how happens? Finding possibly livable exoplanets also shifts our perspective about Earth. It reminds us that our planet, with its right balance of water, atmosphere, and distance from the sun, is rare, but maybe not one of a kind. And that can deepen our respect for the Earth and push us to take better care of it. After all, if life is out there, it means we're part of something much bigger. And if there isn't, then Exoplanet Observatory could use a huge star shade to block starlight and let us see dim planets orbiting bright stars, AL Atmospheric Remote Sensing Infrared Exoplanet Large Survey. Launching in the 2030s will study atmospheres and search for common patterns. Back in 2021, a physicist, Niku Morusudan, thought up the idea of high end planets. Bigger than Earth, thick hydrogen atmospheres, and huge oceans. They could be heavier than Earth and almost twice as big. Even if they're around 200 degrees Celsius, they wouldn't be boiling hot because the ocean is so big. This ocean could have stuff for bacteria to live. Because their thick atmospheres catch heat, 
water can stay liquid farther away from the star. Finding life there could shake things up since bigger worlds are easier to spot. So, Heens are good places to start. Dr. Sujin's team is still using the JWST to study K218b. Even with cool tech, ocean worlds are hard to find. To see what's up with K218b, scientists spent five hours pulling in data in two parts. They watched as K218b went past its star. As the planet moved, the JWST grabbed light that went through the planet's atmosphere. This light leaves behind a spectral fingerprint when it interacts with the air molecules. It's like light splitting into a rainbow. By seeing which colors are missing, scientists can tell which molecules are in the atmosphere. This tells us a lot. If you dug this video, please like, subscribe, and share it so others can watch too. Thanks for checking it out and see you in the next video. Imagine a world 120 light years away around a red star in the Leo constellation known as K218b. People are really curious about it. Scientists think K218b might be what is called a high end world, which means it's larger than Earth and has massive oceans and a hydrogen atmosphere, which makes it a good spot to look for life. These planet atmospheres make them harder to check out using regular telescopes. The James Webb Space Telescope can see deeper into space and help scientists study what's in the air of exoplanets. With K218b, JWST spotted methane and carbon dioxide in the air. If there's the right amount of these gases, it could mean there's life, but other things could also cause it. So, we should look into things more. On Earth, DMS is made by tiny ocean life. If we find DMS in K218b's air, it would be a good hint of life. There are DMS signals, which is interesting, but scientists are being careful. Right now, the DM signal is in the lock, so we can't say for sure it's there. DMs could also be made without life. That's why we should do more tests to see if it's really there and what it says. K218b is a big step in figuring out if we're alone in the galaxy. It doesn't prove life is out there, but it gives us new things to explore. Studying high-end planets could change how we think about where life can be. As tech gets better, we're more able to find life on other planets. The search has just begun. Future missions will keep watching this mysterious planet. Each peak helps us learn more about planets far off and if they could have life. The galaxy has more to it than we knew. Scientists are using telescope data to learn more about exoplanet atmospheres. Each new discovery helps U.S. figure out some questions about our place in the universe. This is more than just about space. If we find even tiny life on another planet, it would change how we think about biology, thinking, and what being human means. It would hint that life isn't rare, but something that happens when certain things are right. That's why K218b is so interesting to scientists and everyone else. It's not just a planet far off, but something, how life might pop up in the galaxy. If there's life there, it could be super different from what we know. They manage to breathe in deep oceans. Still, scientists say we should be patient and also careful. We should check claims very well to avoid oh no being wrong. Rushing things can hurt the search for life. So, teams working together to get a photo of K218b. They're making better plans for missions to study these ocean worlds. The search for life will be more accurate because of what we're learning from K218b and similar finds. Future telescopes and space missions will try to find signs of life. For now, K218b seems like the best choice. It makes us wonder and stay curious. As we look out for others, we're getting to know ourselves and our desire to explore and understand. The search for life in space is like looking at the life within each other. And that search, that's just beginning. The find is not just a scientific thing, but a moment that stirs something. For generations, Humans have stared at the night sky and asked, Are we alone? Now, we're seeing hints that could point toward things. So, if molecules are real, it doesn't just hint at life, but life functions similar to the Earth. Could be it doesn't only need conditions like Earth. It could just need safety, the ocean, the atmosphere, and good chemistry. Stability, if it's around, life happens, maybe? The space telescope is more advanced and unlike the old telescopes can observe light. That is why NASA can look through gas and read light. Pretend we are sniffing light through gas from a telescope. We are the NASA. You can analyze data to detect what you're looking for. But JWST is nothing. We have more to come. 
which can be even more precise. With different places we can get closer to the big questions of life. The Earth is a rare planet with its balance, but not unique. This shows to show our respect and realize we are a part of something. Telescopes are being created to see planets as we continue to search. Even further our ideas of probes to the stars, it could offer a nice zoomed-in look, only requires patience but the stakes are high. Life isn't something we can be hasty about. So why do we do all this because it is a human one? A reminder is that the ambition is important so explore we aren't done with science. Voyager is a symbol and shows that persevering is the right choice. They might contain keys that take us further.